Time to take care of my patient who has COVID-19. Time to don the proper PPE. First, I'll put on my gown. First, I'll put on my gown. Amazing. Next, I will perform hand hygiene. Which I probably should have done before. Delicious. Next, I will put on my gloves. Just kidding. My face shield next. Now my gloves. Very safe. No aseptic technique around here. Just clean old gloves. Lastly, I will don my face mask. Wait, what are we doing? I'll put on my face mask, which technically I'd already have on. Now, my face shield. Time to take care of the patient. Okay. Come in. My name is Rachel. I'm going to be your nurse today. What's your name and date of birth? My name is Troy Thomas. And my, my date of birth is July 13th, 2000. Let's verify that for you. <laughs> Can I see your right arm, please? Check your wristband. Excellent. All right, Troy, are you prepared at this time to have some education done? Yes, of course. Wonderful. Um, so you're going to be discharged to go home for COVID-19. And when you get home, you're going to need to isolate for 14 days, okay? Got it. After those 14 days are complete, you should get another COVID test done. And if they are pot, if it is negative, then you're good to go. Okay? Your wife will be... <laughs> Hello, wife. You're the wife, correct? All right. So you're going to take your husband... You're going to be taking <laughs> your husband home. And when you get home... You need to get a COVID test done and then I um, quarantine yourself until you get the results back. If you're negative, then you are free to be moving about and such, but if you're positive, then you need to stay home as well. In taking care of your husband while he's isolated, make sure that you have a mask on when you bring him food and water and such, and clean any areas of the house that he may be touching that you would be in. Ideally, if you have two bathrooms, use both the bathrooms and stick them in his own bedroom, okay? How does that sound? Good? Do you understand? Here's a pamphlet, sir, for when you get home. That will have some information about how to best handle your COVID-19 at home, okay? If you have any of the following symptoms, extreme shortness of breath, it hurts to breathe, you have pain in your chest, or you're feeling very lightheaded or blurry and such, come into the emergency department immediately, okay? Got it. Okay. Can you please tell me wh how long you need to isolate for when you get home? 14 days. Excellent, excellent. And what is one of the symptoms that you should come back into the emergency room for? Shortness of breath. Okay, well you're gonna have some shortness of breath because you do have COVID. However, <laughs> if you have any pain in your chest or you um, are having like, it hurts to breathe, then you should come back in, okay? Okay. All right, high five. Ah. <laughs> 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 I'll drop the discharge papers for you. Have a great day, sir. You it's too. been a pleasure being your nurse. If you have any questions, do you have any questions? No. Wonderful. Then I will um, bring those papers by. Thank you. <laughs> Time to take off my PPE. First. I will take off my, shoot, it's the gloves first. <laughs> first, I will take off my gloves. Oh, oh, I can't, okay, gloves. Uh-huh, uh-huh, oh, yeah, okay. Next, I will remove my gown. Trashy gown. Then my face shield. And finally, I'd probably leave this on because it's COVID.
time to go to my next patient.